seven thousand dollars seven k that's like 26 million ugandan shillings that's how much money i would have made if this company hadn't toyed around with me oh my god guys it's such a pity i don't understand how someone actually has the audacity to do business like this it's such a pity such a pity <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Daniel, a practicing medical doctor who is also very passionate about farming. In this case, it's poultry farming. And if this is your first time on the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, that way you never miss out on an upload, and don't forget to smash the like button. Mm. Now, I've had this really, really, really terrible experience with a company that delivers chicks uh, called Kenchik. And today, I want to share my story with you guys. If you guys can look around, um, my setting is very intentional. This place has been like this. I haven't touched anything. And if you have been following my videos for some time, you would have noticed that some time back, this place was all lit up, prepared, ready for the old chicks. Guys, I was disappointed. And today, I just want to share my experience. Maybe it could be of help to someone or to all of us in the future. Now, first of all, I want to just give a little background of this. You guys know very well that I never like to mention company names on my YouTube channel because I don't want to appear like I'm blackmailing or promoting any of them. Yeah, I never say the names uh, before. This is not the first time I've actually talked about this exact experience. I'll just keep giving you guys glimpses that you know the person has disappointed. But I wouldn't say their name because I thought maybe they will change or maybe they could deliver or something like that. And I've also turned down various approaches from, you know, different poultry companies in Uganda uh, who want me to do some kind of advertising for them because again I don't want to appear biased you know I don't want to get tied down to a particular company I want to give you guys genuine opinions when it comes to poultry farming without having any strings attached to any company now besides not talking about it on the channel I have lots of people who you know send me messages or whatsapps or call me or you know Facebook and all those kinds of things who would always ask me hey um, I'm around this place I want the old chicks where can I get the day old chicks from and guys trust me I would always recommend Ken Chick because I did trust the quality my first lot of birds I got them from Ken Chick yeah and I did trust the quality and it was very easy for me to recommend other people to them if you guys remember sometime it should have been in June or early July I was preparing this place guys actually made a whole YouTube video of me preparing this place it took me weeks I think even a month just preparing this place you know making the cardboards you know you I know you guys remember these things you know these drink feeders you know box feeders out of cardboard right now they have even started losing shape because they have stayed out here for so long you know um, forming all these kinds of brooders disinfecting this place three or four times in fact at some point i was even so excited i told you guys lots of love catch you guys next week when i'm showing you what's happening on the farm oh how wrong i was how wrong i was so this is what happened guys i made payment on the 11th of july for 1000 bags i used the distributor of kenchik who is very close to where the farm is so um i go to this distributor his name's a robert um i give him money so the arrangement was that i would give him half of the money then the rest the other half i would give him on delivery of the birds and they told me in two to three weeks times i would have the birds delivered so that would be i think like 22nd or 31st july latest 31st july i would have the birds delivered so what happened is that on 30th i call and they tell me there are no birds going to be delivered I asked for a date, they tell me, you know, you're going to have to wait for two more weeks. So I kept being pushed by two more weeks and two more weeks until it got to September, around mid-September, that I got really, really frustrated because I was supposed to be having birds in here. Um, I was already losing out on money. So in around early September, it should have been around 10th, yeah, 10th September, I got to Robert, the agent, and he gives me the distributor's number. He's a guy called Gilbert. So I start talking to Gilbert and Gilbert doesn't, Gilbert is you know, the, like the main distributor from Kenchik. He doesn't give me a debt. Yeah. He doesn't give me a debt. He tells me you need to be patient. Guys, how patient can someone be? Like really, how patient can someone be? He made it seem like 
it's my problem that I'm not patient. Yet when I make the payment, I expected to receive bags in two weeks, maximum three weeks time. So he gives me two options. One of them is to get, either get a refund at that very moment, or secondly, I wait for a further date, and then I would have the bags delivered to me. So I asked the guy, so when would you deliver if I'm to wait? So he's like, um, sometime in October. So I tell the guy, okay, give me back my money. So the agent is like, okay, they're going to give me back my money. So after like two days, I noticed the agent hasn't given me back the money. And after thinking about it, I call the guy and I'm like, okay, now that you've said you'll deliver in October, it's okay. Let me wait till October. If you guys are very certain that you'll deliver in October, I'll wait till October. So we push the date uh, to October, but they didn't give me a date. So when October reaches, that's like first October, I start calling them because I need a date. Guys, I need to get ready. You don't just be told on one day that we're bringing bags, you know. You need to prepare the water. You need to prepare everything, yeah. So I needed a date. They don't give me a date. They don't give me a date. And I remember when I was there on 10th September, I was actually there with another lady who was also very infuriated, like very, very pissed. Because I think they had also promised her bags and the bags had not been delivered. And she also wanted a refund. I don't know if they refunded her money. But the, at that moment, I got to know that it's not just me alone. So later on in October, I think it should have been like mid-October, um, I called a friend of mine who also does lots of poultry farming and I'm telling him about, you know, my story and my what I'm going through. And he's like, you guys, just get your money back. Those guys, um, right here in Kampala, I just had a friend of mine who got his money back just last week. Yeah, they also kept tossing him like that for months and months and end. And so he tells me, you know, get your money back. So I'm like, okay, so maybe I should consult with Gilbert, the main distributor guy. When exactly he thinks the bags are going to be delivered to me? Because it's like mid-October. They told me October. There's no word given to me. So I decided to start calling Gilbert. Guys, Gilbert doesn't pick my calls. He doesn't pick my calls. I send him WhatsApp messages. Nothing. He doesn't respond to them. He blue ticks me. He shows that he has seen them, but he doesn't respond. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And then I talk to this company, another company that actually imports bags um, from the Netherlands. I think it's Hendrix Genetics, but they have a distributor in Uganda. I'd actually talked to Hendrix Genetics, like the main guys. And then they told me they have a distributor in Uganda and it would be cheaper for me that way because at this point I needed buds immediately. I could have gone the fertilized eggs option of importing them, then having them hatch, and then I'll have my own buds. But then I needed buds like, I was desperate. I needed buds. It's been months. I'm selling off my old flock and I don't have buds. So these guys tell me that, you know, if you make an order right now, we shall be able to deliver to you in one month's time, which should be like end of November. So I'm like, okay, so this is like the best time to make this order. I go back to Kenchik because I want to confirm if they're going to deliver the bags, they deliver the bags. If they're not going to deliver the bags, they give me back my money. But no one is talking to me. The agent is not talking to me. The agent tells me to talk to the distributor. The distributor is not picking up my calls. Until I send the distributor a message telling him, um, Hey Gilbert, you guys are doing your business very poorly. And if you don't sort me out, I'm going to put this out on YouTube, you know, on, on my channel. And guys, it didn't even take 30 seconds. And the guy called. As soon as he read this message, he called me. And it pissed me off so much, guys. It annoyed me. Because it just showed me that this guy was ignoring my calls. You know, he was just ignoring everything. And right now that there's something that looks like it's going to put the brand out there as a bad thing he needed to respond to it so he picks up and he's like hey you're very impatient we told you october um you're not patient i'm like guys how patient can someone be like you are supposed to deliver the bags in july it's now november and this is what actually made me certain that i have to put this video out because i was thinking this is a very terrible way of doing business guys the agent actually told the distributor while on a conference call that he offered me money. He gave me money and I refused the money. And he swore his head off that he actually gave me money and I refused the money. I decided to keep the order. I was like, oh my God, how do you do business like this? This is like terrible, like very terrible. And so I was thinking, by all means, I need to make a video about this because it's not that I want to shame the company because like I told you guys, 
in the past I've got buds from these guys and the quality was good but how do you take people's money and you're not accountable for it at all guys I pay these guys lots of money I've told you I've probably lost around seven thousand dollars between that time because that's all time for which I expect the birds to have been laying five months of the birds having been laying and I'm not getting any money and so I've gone through this I was with the lady at the agent who also went through this and I have a friend in Kampala who has also gone through this so I know very many people have also actually gone through this and very many people don't have you know a, a way of speaking out they don't have a YouTube channel they have nothing that they can use to speak out and you know they are just in a place where they have been fixed and these guys are just playing around with people's money you know you take someone's money you take more orders than you can actually handle because I'm certain that's where the problem is either they don't have the birds or they have the birds but they are few and so they just keep taking on money and they promise you they're going to deliver the birds and they don't deliver them and you know this has had a ripple effect on like my business in general because what happened is that um, I, I asked these guys to give me back my money they were supposed to give it to me the following day they took like a week to give it back to me again and all those things pissed me off but in the end they gave me back the money so I got this money took it to the to, 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 to the people who are going to be importing for me bags from the Netherlands and placed an order and if you guys are following the news guys Apparently, there's a bad flu outbreak worldwide and there's no international transfer of birds at the moment. And of course, now I don't blame the current guys who have ordered birds with because it's not their problem that there's an outbreak. They can't speed it up. They can't slow it down. I just have to wait for the process. But all this came from, you know, one big mistake that someone made from behind. And they didn't really need to make it, like, honestly, yeah? If you can't handle an order, you just tell the people, hey, we are not able to do this. You know, have the money, get it from somewhere else. So I feel like if Kenchik had dealt honestly with me, I would have birds inside this place. You know, the brooding would have been done. These pots would not be here. I would have birds, you know, flying all around here. I would, I would actually be collecting eggs right now. But yeah, this has given me lots and lots and lots of plans, guys. Yeah, uh, it has just made me notice how much I actually do need my breeding flock. Like, I really, really need my breeding flock and um, I'm going to be doing, working on this as soon as I can uh, to get a breeding flock, to be able to, you know, reproduce these birds. I'm actually planning on getting the Rhode Island Reds, yeah, um, as a breeding flock. I told you guys that I'm not certain of the breed I'm going to be getting, but I think I'm going to be able to either get the Rhode Island Red and the Issa Brown or the Rhode Island Red or the Issa Brown, whichever. But I think I'm certain I'm going to be getting the Rhode Island Reds on the farm. And guys, um, I even have more exciting news. So I have a partner in the US, uh, a partner with me on Farm Up, and we're actually going to be setting up a Farm Up USA. I'm so excited about it, like really, really excited. Uh, we're going to be hatching chicks over there and distributing to our people in the US and, you know, other countries around. Then, of course, I'm going to be doing it here in Uganda so that we can distribute to the people all around and it's not very expensive for them, you know, bringing down the shipping costs. So back to Kenchik. You might ask me, will I ever deal with Kenchik again? Would I recommend it to other people again? And the answer is like, you know, you never know, yeah? Seasons change, times change, people change, yeah? This is probably the way they have been doing business and it's been terrible. But probably, after watching this video, uh, one of them, or you know, one of the people at the helm of the organization might decide to change things uh, and decide to do their business better, um, decide, you know, to do better distribution chains, be more honest with people. If they do that, then I'm very open to doing business with them again. But if they continue doing business the way they are doing, of course, I would never recommend anyone to them. I myself would never do any business with them. And, you know, the whole purpose of this video is that I hope one of them gets to see this and they deal with these people, you know, with their agents, with their distributors, with the organization. They need to clean stuff up because this is very terrible, you know. You don't run businesses like this. It's very selfish, yeah. You know, one thing you need to know is that uh, while you're running your business, you have to remember that you're not an island in this world, yeah. You're not there making money while stepping and killing everyone else. Because that's what's happening, yeah. They, are, they, they, they probably, they obviously made money of my money because I paid them lots of money and they kept it for all that time. They probably invested it somewhere and made money from it. 
while I'm here and um, I have no bags, yeah? So that's a very terrible way of doing business. So guys, my intention was not to bring down Ken Chick, no. My intention was to share my experience and be a voice for other people outside there who have actually gone through the same thing but they have nothing to say, they have nothing they can do about it um, and hopefully things will change. Thanks guys for watching, lots of love, see you next time with another video. Bye-bye!